welcome back to Feather Stitches Podcast. This is episode 21. 21. Yeah. Today is March 12th. Yep. Spring is starting to come. It is. Everything's icy. It's starting to get slushy, but it's still cold where everything freezes over, so you have rivets yeah. on the roads and... Makes driving fun. And walking to school, the kids keep slipping. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Asking if they can stay home if they break a nose when they walk to school. <laughs> Get a nice Funny. pack from your from your school and yeah, keep exactly. on going. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, so man. it's been a month, I think oh, at least, since we podcasted least. last. I hope you can hear I us okay. Do you think our microphone's picking us up good? It I looks think like so. it's really low there. I don't know. Turn the volume up if you can't hear us. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try and project my voice. <laughs> but I don't know if this microphone here maybe if I now they'll be able to hear us for sure. Now you're going to be like, oh my goodness, turn it down. I'll hold it here for now. RIP for those with headphones, as Katie would say. <laughs> Hi, I'm Heather, and you are? I am Becky, and you're pulling the camera over. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are a little out of practice. <laughs> oh, I'm sleep deprived, I think. Oh, okay, this is going back. Coffee hasn't sunk in yet. Oh, dear me. All um, right. Yeah. Let's, have, let's have some coffee. It is Roll Up the Rim with Tim Hortons. Please be a new car. Please be a oh, new car. I would love it. It's a mm-hmm. Jeep. Who doesn't want a Jeep? I would love that. Yep. Even though I'm very happy to report that my van is officially paid off. Oh, it's paid it off like last the greatest week, feeling in the world. Yes. It paid really it off is. early. I think we had another like a year and a half, year and three quarters. Wow. Paid it off early. So that feels good. Oh, it's so nice. But now it makes me want to dream of a new car. I know, right? I know. I'm the same Under way. the rim. <laughs> you brought these over. You'll have a hard time doing that. I know, right? Well, yeah, right. <laughs> I had one. We were in Edmonton for a soccer tournament, and I had a coffee, and I just chucked it in the garbage and went and sat oh. down, and I went, oh, I didn't roll up the rim. <laughs> and the lady sitting next to me goes, you just lost a car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's like, a sick feeling. Yeah. You realize. I tried to convince Brand to go dig through the garbage, but. There was no go on that Fair enough. No. She's like, uh, no, mom. (laughs) She's not going to get a car. She's only 14. (laughs) She wasn't that desperate. True. Yeah. Yeah. Katie's starting to study for her learners. She turns 14 in the beginning of April, so. Yeah, Brianne's been studying for a long time, but she didn't want to start driving in the winter. And that makes sense. And yeah, and and I'm totally fine with that. You should test until you feel confident. You know, exactly. You should study it well. There's no rush. Once spring comes, then we're not worried about the roads ever. Yeah. Then she can take it and start driving, and she'll have lots of chances. Oh yeah, her whole she will. Life. She's been studying lots, so I'm not. I'm not worried about it. That's cool. So that's good. Yeah, it'll uh-huh. be fun. Maybe we, they can go together. She'll wait long enough, and they can go yeah, together. Yeah, they can go right together. <laughs> that'd be good too. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'll mention that to Katie. Yeah, she just started studying, so that'll give Bran a little motivation too, maybe to uh-huh. go. I think she's been a little bit hesitant. She doesn't like tests, obviously. Yeah. They're nerve wracking. They are, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we went to this um, parenting class last month, I guess, <clears throat> Becky and I. And in that training class, it was about teenagers. And the psychiatrist that was doing the class, he just said, you know what, parents, get your kids driving. It is a parental responsibility to get your kids driving, to get that confidence that they need, because mm-hmm. getting your license one day is a life skill where it does help you get your independence you need to get. It does. A variety of jobs. Yeah, because it can be a roadblock <clears throat> down the way. It really can. Yeah. It really can. And I waited a long time to get my license, and it wasn't a huge deal. I worked downtown at the time, so I could just take transit. I don't want to drive to work there anyways. Right. But, yeah, you know, maybe if I had my license at a younger age, too, I could have done that much more. Yeah. Not relied on my boyfriend to drive me around. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that's one way to do it. It's true. <laughs> Find yeah. a guy with a car. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, we don't promote that. <laughs> no. And my daughter better not be watching this. Yeah, right? <laughs> Katie, no. <laughs> no, Katie. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. So what else has been going on? Oh, man. Well, we just did our big giveaway on Instagram. Yes. Right? So our winner was at Miss Donna B67. We're very excited for her. Donna, she won her... This is the Bumosity mini fingering weight yep. set from Rose Hill Yarns. So thank you so much, Robin, for this. 
to give away and we will be mailing this out shortly. Yeah, so, so that was fun. My kids were like, my goodness, mom, what is wrong with your phone? <laughs> bing, 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 bing. It was going yeah, on. Totally. Yeah, it was so funny. And thank you to all of our new subscribers. Yes. Um, we've reached another milestone with um, right. the YouTube subscribers. Or as I was watching Cherry Pie Cottage this morning, she says, we've added new friends. Yes. I think added That's new friends awesome. is nicer new than friends. subscribers. So thank right? you to all the new friends. Yeah. For so, joining us. Yeah. And then now Watching because chaos. we're over 600, it's total chaos. Now that we're over 600, we're going to do another giveaway. We do. We showed it. If you watched our last one, we showed the... The yarn. It's another skein from Rose Hill Yarns. We love her. The amazing Robin. This is not just a pretty face colorway. Beautiful. Robin's colors are Gorgeous. absolutely stunning. A friend of mine. It's a single ply. She was looking at her stuff just because of the giveaway. She doesn't knit. She would like to learn how to knit, but she's getting married this summer, so she's like, we'll have to oh, wait till after. Yeah. But she's been teasing me about teaching her to knit, so um, she was looking at it, and she's like, that's amazing. Like, how does she do that? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know, but it is amazing. It's like, an art. It yeah. really is an art. Like, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So Stunning. we're going to give away this single ply skein of yarn. And then Janine from the Odd Sheep at Home. Other end. There you go. Gave us this gorgeous <laughs> pom-pom to give away. So we thought that would be fun to add. Yeah. With this. So, I mean, I don't know if you'd make a hat with a single ply. You could. You could, yeah. You could hold a double or, I don't know. But it, but it's a beautiful pom-pom that would go yeah. with anything. So you yeah. could add it to a hat you already have done or whatever. Yeah. So you can comment on our video and tell us what you would use the skein of yarn for. Like if you have a project in mind or what you would do. Would you make a hat? Yeah. Or would you use the pom-pom for something else? So tell us something. Comment on our video. Yeah, and if you can and maybe we'll not draw. say the word giveaway. I, I've heard that if you say the word giveaway in a comment that... It can get picked up with people searching through YouTube videos, oh. um, just to keep it to our, our friends. We want we want our friends to win. Yeah, we really people do. People just looking for giveaways. Yeah. Giveaways. So enter below. Just one comment, please, and yeah. then um, yeah, just answer that question, and then we will do a draw on our next podcast. So and we promise to try not to wait so long. We'll try. I know. We really didn't intend to wait so long. No, we were going to podcast last week even. And then I think the last three weeks, That's the last true. three weeks in a row, we have had a date in mind yeah. and something has come up. Heather started a new job. Mm -hmm. So her schedule has been all over the place and I have had sick kids and it's been a gong show. Yeah, <laughs> it has, you know, yeah. that's okay. So yeah. Today I'm like, so are we doing this? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, Yes, <laughs> we are. I can say yes too. Yeah. It's well, actually like, going to happen. And you get to go too. Yes. Woo! <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, so, it's been good. Yeah, and then after, like, I'm just doing initial training for. I'm working at a breastfeeding clinic, um, so it's just a lot of training with the new computer software there. Yeah. It's, so it, I've been having to do a lot of training, and um, yeah. That's and the, the clinic setting is a lot different than the hospital setting it too. Is. So it's a, li a little bit more of a learning curve than just changing to a different unit at the hospital yeah. it's yeah I thought it'd be maybe a little bit easier maybe that was naive of me. <laughs> I thought maybe Quite clinic different. would be not as busy but it's actually a different kind of crazy busy so yeah. I don't even take lunch breaks when I'm there I just work straight just through steady. yeah so but they're good about me leaving yeah. early and um, they're really accommodating for my schedule which is nice so That's I can good. start work at 8 30 and then leave work a lot by and two, it's two, right three. up your alley. Like working with new moms and babies. I, and I see babies all day. So nice. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's where my heart is, right? Yeah, so that's good. It's been nice that I, I have that position now too, to work casual. So. And why not? How many jobs are you up to now? I have a lot of jobs. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I, and this one I didn't even <laughs> apply for. This one just kind of fell on my lap. It was I got an email oh, from so one of the um, physicians at that clinic just saying that she knows a nurse practitioner that... I know, and just said, we really would like to have you at our clinic. Are you interested? And I just thought, why not? Why not? So <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So yeah, it's been a good learning curve and keeping me busy, but that's okay. It's good, though. It's mm -hmm. good busy. And they know I want my summers freer. Like, I'm really trying to take some time off this summer with the mm -hmm. kids, and they're willing to work around that as well. So yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> so. And I was thinking about it. I was like, this summer... 
will be our last. Like if our girls, so our kids all go to the same camp, Circle Square Ranch. And our older two girls next summer can do their leadership training program, which means they will be gone for the first month, like the entire month of July. And then once they're done, they get invited usually to stay on and work for August. So I was thinking about it and I'm like, oh my goodness, this could be the last summer yeah. having them home. Because if they're anything like me, I was there as much as I possibly could be every summer once I was old enough to work. And I started before I was technically old enough to work. <laughs> like, it's just crazy. So I'm like, wow, I need to do, like, we need to do some sort of holiday or something. Like, go, I don't know. I don't really care yeah. what. But I'm like. We want to try and do a summer holiday this summer. Yeah. We're going to have a trailer and we're going to try and borrow one. But I don't know how that works with insurance. and It's tough. It's and expensive staying at hotels in the summer. And, it is, ugh. yeah. It is, yeah. If you're not camping, it's. Mm-hmm. And you got to plan so far ahead. I you find do, things I'm the, not an organizer. <laughs> things in the summer book up so fast. Yeah. I like just doing day trips. Like, you get a nice day. Mm-hmm. Let's go do something. So You guys should come up to the cabin with us. Because then yeah. there's the lake, there's the boat, there's the beach. I am looking forward to, like, James is still not, he's still taking time and hasn't started work yet. I mean, he's been helping me with all the kids at home. That's been mm-hmm. our full-time job together. And, uh... I'm looking forward to this summer because it's been a long time where he's been really busy working in the summers. So he'll actually be around this year. Maybe we can do more. It's yeah. not just me hauling the kids off somewhere. So yeah, yeah, no, we'll see. He's getting itchy to go and work, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I might have lost him by then. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a busy time for their trades, right? Mm-hmm. So it's hard to say. Yeah, I don't know. And I just I'm telling you, you have to take. A week off this summer. He's never yes, done it ever. He doesn't. So I'm like, you have to take a week off. We have to do something. So yeah, yeah. I said that It'll last summer. Good. It didn't happen. We're gonna try this. We'll summer. try. <laughs> so because yeah. I have two weeks where my younger ones are going to camp in July, and mm-hmm. then two weeks where Katie will be gone in, in August. So yeah. that doesn't leave us a lot of weeks. But we're yeah. Gonna try. Anyways, we're totally like on a. I know. I was just thinking. I'm like, maybe we should show some knitting because this really in. is a knitting podcast. This is, this Believe is. it or not. <laughs> yeah. While well, should we talk uh, about faux, our finished yeah, objects. Yeah. Well, why don't you start with what you're wearing? Because I'm okay. sure everyone's noticed. Sure. I finally. It's all wrinkly because I've been wearing it so often, and it could probably use oh, another it looks, blocking. It looks amazing. But this is my boxy by Hohi Locatelli. Oh, it's beautiful. All done. So I. The pattern calls for sleeves that go to about here. Yeah. And I just extended them down. And then I did about. Can you guys hear Bailey in the background? <laughs> Licking sure her paws and snorting. <laughs> anyway, so then I did about six inches of ribbing. So it. Okay, Bailey, I'm trying to talk here. I should take a picture of her. Um, so that was the big modification was just doing that. I think I added an extra inch on the length. And then on the collar, it calls for about eight rows of knitting stockingette. And I did double. So I think there's 16. I just wanted to curl just a little bit more. I just love how it rolls over like that. It looks Yeah. So cool. It just kind of adds a thicker band. Kind of the same thickness of this. So I just wanted to roll a little bit more. Yeah. Looks and good. Yeah. It's nice and long. It covers the butt, which I like. Yeah. It's lovely. It blocked out well. So and yeah, it fits really. I just love how the sleeves are so fitted. And, and which yarn was that? This is Estelle Worsted. I don't remember the color. The purple. Yeah. It's yeah. an affordable yarn, too. If you're looking for something like if you're doing your first sweater or, you know, if you don't want to spend the, you know, yeah, I think more it was more money only like, like on the hand painted stuff. It's yeah. it's a more affordable one for sure. Yeah, I want to do one now in um, the Cascade two twenty and just mm-hmm. kind of compare to see what the difference is and yeah, because I really want to do the weekender. Yes. So, but yeah. I have to finish some of my other sweaters that I have <laughs> on the needles. So yeah, so that's my one and only finish object. Very nice. What about you? Well, I have a couple. <clears throat> so. Well, I'll show this one first. I showed this one as a whip. So I've been really, really trying to work on my whips this year. Because I had wow. quite a few. This is finished. So I finished this one. This is called the Drifter. I don't know if you can see. Is it blowing out? Maybe not. 
And this is by Tammy Gore. So pretty. We love Tammy Gore patterns. I love her patterns. They're phenomenal. Like it just, this one goes on and on and on forever. This one was really fun to knit. I really liked it. it And the options were um, to do it two or three color. But I just love, like, it's really simple to throw on. And it wears really nice. Oh, yeah. It shows off all the colors. And that's what I I really want to make. I want to make that. And I never would have thought it until I saw it on you. Like, I just love I know. It's not when, like, you look at it and, like, because it's going a different direction. Like, it's Mm -hmm. not a triangle. Mm -hmm. But it knits like a triangle. So it's... I, don't, I loved it. I had a lot of I fun knitting it. slip stitches. And yeah, like it's just enough. It's mostly garter, but it's got a couple of these I slip love. stitch sections that are really simple, but gives it this texture and, you know, breaks up the garter stitch a little bit and then you're changing colors. So it just, it flew off the needles. So I got distracted doing this one because I started another project and it was just one that got put away and mm. I just never picked it up. And so once I did, it just flew I finished it in no time and it was a lot of fun and I actually ran out I think um, did you say the colors that you did I didn't say the colors so this one is um, Frankie's fiber and I don't remember the name of the colorway I want to say Cecilia I know I've mentioned it before in the last one because I had my ball bands with me and then this one is a sweet Georgia and I ran out of one of them I shortened off the It must have been this one, the Sweet Georgia, because I think I did one last row than it calls for, by the looks of it. I think I should have done another repeat. Oh, okay. That's nice thing, though, where you can just fudge it and... Yeah, and this is a great one. Like, I could have kept going until I ran out of this one, too, if I wanted to. Like, it's not one that you're gonna... You can just finish off your stuff, and then you don't have any scraps. I love it. So, yeah, I loved it. Beautiful pattern. Tammy Gore is a fantastic designer. She's mm-hmm. got some amazing shawls out there. But I just love that this one had two options to that do it nice. either two or three color. Yeah, because sometimes you don't want to have to use, like, crack open three skeins. You just want to use two. Yeah, and if you had three partial skeins yeah. of something, or if you wanted to make it scrappy, like, you could do yeah. anything with it. Totally. Yeah, so great pattern. Loved love it. it. That is yeah. so nice. So, yeah, that's my only. And then my other is yeah, my MCAL. You have two, right? Yeah. Do you have your MCAL? It's upstairs. Oh. Have you but shown I showed it? it. I did, oh, you show did it show it. Okay. Yeah. Or last last week. <clears throat> last week. <laughs> Wishful yeah. thinking for us. Wishful thinking. Okay, well, I was not quite done. I probably showed it as a whip. But here's my MCAL. Oh, this is so pretty. Is this the back? Uh, yeah, it's right around. Oh. I, I always <laughs> I look at the top and I just can't tell. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> this is so this pretty. This is my MCAL. I love it, love it, love it. Oh. I love all the colors are are, uh, yarn ink. Um, So it's goddess and fringe and oh dear me I can't remember the other color now. I don't remember. I don't remember. I have mentioned it in the past so you'll have to go back and watch one of our old ones if I can't remember. Yeah. (laughs) Or I probably had it have it on Instagram too. This must look great with a pair of blue jeans. It does. And I have a light purple cardigan sweater. Ooh nice. That it matches with so well. So I've worn it quite a bit so pretty yeah or i wrap up in it at night like just throw it so over your, my shoulders yours blocked out like mine did in the tip yeah my Some points people got them perfectly straight but i don't know how it was to it had to do with the way i picked up and where my oh that's true where Maybe my stitches how. ended up i yeah i had to pick up a little further down to get them yeah I feel like, like to get that cast on edge going mine's the same but i was like whatever yeah <laughs> it looked fine to gorgeous. me gorgeous yeah, and I like I blocked it out like crazy. I'm gonna try it on. I'll be Vanna. I just love how it wears. It's so nice. It's fun how they do the opposite, right? So like you. Yeah, so it really shows off all your colors. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. It's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing. Oh dear! I bet you we're gonna get another big dump. We've been in the polar vortex forever. We yeah. get one night stay, and it yeah. is coming down really good right now. Look at that poor birdie in the trees. Like, I know. What the heck? I thought it was spring. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Yeah. Just to keep things interesting, right? It's got to snow on top of all the ice out there. 
It's okay. Most of the roads oh, yeah. are pretty dry, so it's not there too bad. There was lots of accidents this morning, though, on the highway. Was there? Because there's lots of melt, and then it's been freezing overnight. So, there, yeah, there was a big six-car yeah. pile up just north of Airdrie this morning. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I like that show. Oh, I yeah. love it. It's a great... It's I a mean, great I one. have one, but I just... They're all so nice. Oh, this feels so good, too. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I love. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Look at you, knitting so that's machine. That's my FOs. I had a pair of socks oh. that were also an FO, but I wore them, and they're in the laundry somewhere. I couldn't find oh. them. Well, now you have something to show. So now I'll have something to show the next, next time. podcast. Yeah, because sooner than later, hopefully. Yeah, but I did. So this is the yarn that. Oh, so, so these are ones. Way. Yes. So Shelly from Polka Dot Creek. I know we've talked about this a few times now. She gifted us yarn. And it's her sock sets. So it was a solid, solid skein. And then two minis for um, doing your heels and toes. And so Heather and I each made a pair of socks already. We did shorties. And then she gave me her scraps. And now I'm giving her my scraps. So we each get a pair of socks Yay. out of the colors. Because so, we couldn't pick. We were standing there. And yeah. She gave us these two colors. And we're like, how do we pick? Yeah. I can't decide between the two. So yeah, so now we each get a pair of socks. I made blueberry waffles with my other Yeah, set. and I did the My Sister Socks. Just I did a shorty mm. version. So it's like yeah. a new yarn. I know, isn't it fun? We should all find a friend, a nitty friend. Yeah. Get a skinny, each get a skinny yarn, knit shorty socks, and then trade. Yeah, because I've done that multiple times. Like I have lots of skeins where, and I did it this year when they did the, like the yarn giveaways, like the... What was it called? Where you? Why am I blanking? Anyway, where you just <laughs> got oh, you post your that. yarny wishes. That's what it was. Oh yeah, yeah. And I gave some half skeins of yarn away because I'm like, I made yeah. a pair of shorty socks, so I've got an fo out of the yarn already, and so I would I gifted the other half because I'm like, you can easily get another. Um, That's perfect. Pair of shorty socks out of them. So, I wonder how much is in here. Should weigh them? Um, I did weigh them, but I don't remember because I wanted to make sure you had, I think it's like 11 grams. Oh. Because I wanted to make sure you had at least 10. Because you, you need 10 for a heel. Um, yeah, because I did two, my toe two. and my cuff with this one. Okay. And the heel with the brown. Okay. So I wanted to make sure you had at least half left. Oh, okay, So cool. I stopped. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm flexible. Yay. Fun. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to add that there. So, no, this isn't what I want. I want this. I have a hoe. Ooh, I actually have a hoe too. <laughs> Not that you mention it. I... Well, look at your cute little bag. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my bag that Becky gave me for Christmas. A feather a stitches bag. It is. Oh, there you go. See it? A little better. Um, yeah, I it's Christmassy themed, but I don't care. I love it because I love patchwork and I love tons of color. So, it is. This light is like, yeah. I wonder if our light's Whoa. almost too much today. It's Maybe. Hard to tell. But now it's getting darker because, well, it's not dark, but it's snowing. So we have no sun outside. I know. It's a little. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> I finished one sock. This uh. is the Hulk colorway by Kim from Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap Yarns. I'm so used to the camera being on. Oh, yeah. It's the other way around today. <laughs> yeah. It's really bright, this light. Holy. Anyways, you get the gist. So I'm making shorty socks for my son, Weston. He loves the Hulk. So should I try turning it off? Just to, see. Just to see, because we want you guys to see the yarn. That is true. Yeah. It's right there on the top. Mm. I mean, it's really, sh I don't know. No, it's no I think it needs to no. We'd rather blind you than you not be able to see it at all. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, and then for progress for the second one, I am right Oh, look here. at you. Yeah, so I'm oh, getting Weston close must to the heel. Oh, so excited. He is, and I totally got sidetracked with another project. And I need to get them done because I don't want him to outgrow them. Yes, right? <laughs> like, that is a real thing with these boys. This is a really big sock for an eight-year-old. I was looking at that when you pulled that out. I was like, my word, he has long feet. And he says they're tight. But your kids all have big feet. Yeah, and they have these long, skinny feet. Yeah, like long, narrow Well, Grace's feet. are not skinny, but... They'll stretch when he starts to wear them, though. Yeah, I'm almost thinking of blocking them on my adult blockers. Yeah. I'm trying to stretch them out. And then, because the last thing I want is him saying they're too small and then him not wearing them at all, because he's kind of... That happened with my kids. By the time I got theirs done, like, I measured their feet, and they didn't wear them very much, because they were oh. just too tight. That so was when I was pretty early on knitting. I should have knit them 
And so I'm doing the three by one rib, just along oh, here. Oh, perfect. And yeah, then, that's what I was gonna say. I should have done mine in ribbing, so that they're a little that's bit stretchy. That's what I was thinking because it might stretch. Yeah. And then this is a Game Boy from Sugar Tots. Oh, so cute. isn't that cute? I love it. So it's fun to have on Weston socks. Cute. So and yeah, and I have this much yarn left. So I'm pretty. It's just under. Like this one sock was just a little bit under half of. Kim Perfect. sells at from Ginger Snap. She sells fifty gram skeins of yarn, which I love because then you can just make a shorty pair, especially in her superheroes collection. Because mm -hmm. so many people do them for their kids, right? So you yeah. definitely don't need, yeah, a full hundred gram skein. I'm hoping to have just like, even if it's just two grams, just to put in my yes. granny stripe memory blanket. Oh yeah, I you should need show just a little too. Bit. I did. I've done a couple more rows. So yeah, so that's. That's Fun. my sock. I gotta get those done. Cute. Here's the label <clears throat> from Kim. Ginger Snap. I love their labels. They're so cute. I we love Kim. There we go. So yeah, that is that. Oh. So I technically have a hoe too. Nice bag in one of yes. your bags as well. It's one of my bags. So cute. Oh, I'm getting hot. So this is, I don't have the next one cast on yet, but I finished my DK socks. Oh, wow, I love that color. So this is, again, Polka Dot Creek, and she did some DK. Can I pop my butt a little bit and show you closer? That's huge. I'm not used to you seeing, I'm not used to seeing you do full like, I know. Socks. So I did big because these are like, so it's, it's DK, so they're a heavier sock. Yeah. So I did them, um... This is quite the sock. It's um, mostly my own pattern. And so I knit it inside out so that it's um, reverse stockinette on the outside, except for my heel. So I flipped it right side out and knit the heel properly cool. and then went back and then I flipped it right side out again and did the cuff. Cool. So, um, my top, I didn't get the line quite the way I wanted to on the top with the, it blended oh, a little more. Yeah. I wanted a more distinct line. It kind of shows up with the toe. But when you're doing the reverse stockinette, they really blend yeah. together more. So but yeah, so I wanted a nice tall sock. So I knit up so that it would be snug on my foot. I knit up to about here somewhere and you can really see it when it's this way. And then I just added, I just did like a knit front back into the sock and made it um so it's a bit water by your heel you mean? yeah so instead of doing like a full gusset but i had knit all the way up past the heel and put it on and it was so tight and it was pulling funny and i was like no this isn't gonna work so i ripped it back and i went down to about here and then i just add i, I just did a knit front back on either end That's a good idea, alternating cause... rows until i added about um eight stitches up? yeah i knit them toe up and so you can see like the top of the sock is wider than the bottom. Yeah, that's a good idea. So it just gave me some more room and they fit perfectly. So it's nice and snug around my foot, but then up here I've got room in my calves so that I could knit them up higher. And I did a really nice loose cuff on the top. So I really want to get this one done. It knits really fast. Like I did, I did most of this like from the heel up in about, two evenings I think just watching a couple episodes of TV before bed so with the DK it knits nice and fast and it's got nylon in it so they should be nice and sturdy so yeah so I need to get the other one done but I've been working like crazy on my sweater so but I want to be able to wear them while it's still warm <laughs> or still cold out but I'm sure like going camping and stuff like that this summer will be nice to have some warm woolies so yeah I love it. And this one, I'm sorry, Shelly, I'm terrible for sock knitting when I have the, the uh, ball bands. But her sock sets are fantastic. And I did write to, I think, the 50 gram mark on this. Oh, Casey okay, so kept weighing it? Yeah. <clears throat> so that's, that's how I knew how far to go. I knit up, so it's a full, it's a full half of this skein. I have a DK sock pattern so. that I really want to make with some of the with my Rose Hill yarn that I bought from her booth. Yes. So that's a good idea just to keep keep weighing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was fun. Love it. Yeah, I don't remember. I got the <clears throat> idea from someone. They were talking about 
doing a reverse stockinette pattern for a sock. And I was like, that's a great idea. Because I love the look of the reverse stockinette. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't want to purl a project. Oh, no. So when I'm doing a sock, it's really easy just to knit it inside out. I was watching a homespun house and I, she was showing a sock that she just has made the regular way, but now she's debating on just keeping it inside out just because she likes the look of it. It's kind of becoming more, it's kind of yeah, trendy it's, right now like in some ways, right? Yeah, it's really neat. The only, yeah. the only difference really is you just watch which end you tuck your tails in on. Yeah, exactly. Really, that's yeah. the only... Yeah, which side you're going to weave them in. Yeah, or if you're alternating, <clears throat> like which side you carry them up on. But for the most part, most socks you can wear them inside out. It yeah. doesn't really matter. So, yeah, so nice. that was fun. Cool. Well, I guess I'll show one of my whips. I have two more to show. How many do you have? I have one more whip. Okay. And then some, <clears throat> some yarny funness. Where's my pattern? So, I saw this. Well, Janine from the Odd Sheep at Home was talking about this pattern at the Airdrie show. And it's one of those patterns that you hear of and then just sticks in your brain and you have to just cast it on. I wish I had a better. Oh, that's okay. So, can you see? This is called the V back T. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying not to give anything away. So, it's a V back T, and you can wear it reversible. So, you can wear the V in the front or the V in the back. Um, we'll see that's very goes. ingenious. It is. And it's. Pattern writer. What's her name? This is by Jamie Hoffman, H O F F M A N. And. Yeah, like I think I'll wear the V in the front, but I love how it's a looser, it's meant to be kind of, well, it's a loose fit sweater, which yeah. I love because I it's just airy and hides a baby belly, really. So it's up my alley. So um, I'm kind of going all crazy, but I wanted to have a fun, bright, summery colored sweater. So I'm kind of getting stuck on it, honestly. I have to, well, not stuck. But I get into this sweater like I don't know what to do next mode. And oh, you just kind of freeze. I freeze. So I'm frozen. <laughs> Anyways, I got this pineapple yarn. Like, it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> it is literally highlighter yellow. Yeah. There is a reason why you cannot see it at all. <laughs> yeah. Glow, like it's highlighter yellow. Yeah. You can't see it. Anyways. <laughs> so bright. So and funny. I got a 20 gram mini from um, Allie which is finding the joy always, always. is her uh, yeah she has a new it's instagram a new. <laughs> yeah <so I> miss <laughs> ally makes miss <laughs> ally and yeah exactly miss <laughs> ally makes but now finding yeah. the joy always um so she sent this to me last summer i think it was and yeah so i thought that would make such a fun collar so here is where you can see it. oh my goodness i'm going to turn off I'm yeah try to turn that off just, just for this, this part, part anyway it's still blowing out. Like it's it's crazy, right? Like oh my it, goodness! It's like the construction man yellow. Oh yeah, I need to eventually switch out my cords because they're super tight. But I just love being able to keep knitting in the round. So. It is nice. The second color going in here is Abigail by Ginger Snap. Here's the beautiful. Skein. It is gorgeous. This is her cashmere luxe. I don't know why it's blowing out so bad. There we go. Um, yes, yeah, so Abigail and her cashmere. Lux base, super soft. Oh, it's it's phenomenal oh, to work with that yarn. I love it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do more. I want to buy some more of this. Um, so that's the second color fading into that, and then I'm gonna add two more colors. I want to do lots of the Abigail just because I love it so much, mm -hmm. and then the Abigail here is gonna fade into this. This is um a skein, a partial skein of yarn that um. Cozy Up Girl sent me at Christmas time, so in my advent calendar, so it's a good chunk. So I have no idea the colorway, but it's so pretty. So that'll fade into that, and then this is another, wow. there, there has to be cashmere in here. But again, so this came from Cozy Up, it was the 24th, or it was like the fuller, it was a bigger oh, scheme. Oh, the big scheme. So it's, like, yeah. it's the full scheme. Um, she didn't have the ball band, she couldn't remember what it was, but... Yeah, so it's really washing out. But anyways, here we go. We'll put some better pictures on Instagram so you can see yeah. them where we can actually... I find it hard to photocopy, to even take pictures of this color, but... Yeah, it's just, it really is that bright. It is highlighter yellow. Yeah. So yeah, I think that'll be a really fun top. Oh, it's beautiful. I've just stalled. 
because you have to do this V and then you start doing a ton of short rows and short rows kind of intimidate me. Honestly, I have to just trust the pattern, but even then I don't know how to do that. Yeah. So, well, when you hate ripping things back, I don't even know how to rip things yeah, back. Right. So yeah, I just hope I don't screw this up, but mm, whatever, we'll go for it. We're just going to try it, but I've been distracted by another sweater. So uh -oh. this has been put on the back burner. Do you want to show your next whip? Sure. I'll show okay. mine. All right. I have had Woo! huge success on this sweater. I'm so excited. So I started this sweater ages ago. Just it's a, seeing it in the bag. It's a comfort funny. fade card. So this is in my Andrea's homespuns in her yarn party bag. Love that my bag. Favorite. Love it so much. Love it. Like there's six skeins of yarn and a sweater in here. Oh, wow. And there's room for more. Wow. <laughs> so. I'm so excited. Ah. I get to show you guys this. I have Tell them. finally finished the body. So I'm going to hold it back here so you can see the whole fade. Oh my gosh, I adore this yellow at the bottom. Isn't it stunning? Like, I just, I'm so thrilled. And I finished this sleeve last night. Oh my, you've even done a sleeve already. So I've got one sleeve done. I got to pick up the other one. I just, I kept going until I could bind it off last night. So I'll put it on because I actually so can put it on. So it's a DK sweater. But I adjusted the pattern to make it fingering weight because I had these six skeins of yarn that I was wow. going to make a find your fade with. But I fell in love with the Comfort Fade Cardi and I didn't want to buy new yarn. That fits you perfect. Doesn't it? I'm so excited. You should put your back, put your butt to the camera so they can see the good fade. Back on up, back on up. <laughs> that is gorgeous. It doesn't show Isn't the color it? as well. It doesn't. Here, I'll no. try turning off the light. Look at us just turning off the light. There. Oh, there we go. Isn't that, I love this yellow so much. I I'm so excited. I love that yellow. Yeah, so I was really nervous about how it was going to fit because I did all this crazy math and changed all my stitch counts, and oh, I am just so thrilled with how it fits. Oh, yeah, and it's going to even grow, like, the length. Of, exactly. I mean, the so length I, is a great length. I did the too. length to how I liked it, mm -hmm. like, to how I had written out the pattern, and then I put it on, and I was like, Perfect, because now I can, like, if I block it out just a bit, yeah. but I don't have to pull on it. Like, I can mostly right. just lay it out. Oh, yeah. And it fits great. It's not up in my armpit. I've got room in my sleeve. I'm just, I'm so excited, because I was really nervous. Wow. And how do you do the, like, does it call for, like, a... Yeah, so it has a huge shawl collar on oh, it. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, which is going to take me forever, because it's going to be, like... <laughs> I don't know. I'm betting it's going to be close to 600 stitches by the time I pick up all the way around. Wow. It's going to be a lot, but I don't but care. But look at how much you've already done. Like the, the hard part has to be over. I think so. I don't know. It's a lot of the shawl color, I think is a lot of short rows so that you get all the colors oh, okay. in. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to pull it off because I have to also like the pattern is four colors and I'm using six. Oh, and then it's switching from DK to fingering. So it's been a little bit of guesswork, yeah. <laughs> but so far it has panned out perfectly. So I need to finish this for Easter. Like this cuff from here to here, that's all six colors blended in there. Like if I show you on the, oh no, it's garter stitch cuff. So I can't even show you an it side. So I just love it. I love it. Like I didn't even have to knit a ribbed cuff. It was a garter That's stitch true. cuff. That's awesome. Which was fun. Well, it was it was a yeah. knit purl row, like knit one purl one, that oh, way. Okay. But I'm not a huge fan of garter stitching or um, ribbed stitching. Mm. I don't like switching back and forth. But anyway. yeah, because you have like the knit knit purl purl. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I am super love thrilled. It. I'm having so much fun. Holy. So now I got to do one more sleeve, which won't take me long. And then, um, then your yeah, collar. and then my shawl collar. So yay, we'll see. I'm determined to have it done. If not for Easter, maybe not. Wouldn't that be perfect? If not, I will have it done for the show in May. Yeah, in Edmonton. So we are going to the Edmonton Fiber Frolic. We're gonna have yes, we we're are. gonna be sharing the booth with the Odd Sheep at home with Janine, yeah. and um, we're gonna have some bags available and um, some needle protectors which we'll show more yeah. um we'll show more when we get the shipment get is coming 
tomorrow, uh, hopefully. Tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, we've had to order the supplies from the States. And so we'll talk more about that later. But it's coming in tomorrow. And then we're yeah. going to get... Yeah, going to get our bags made. Yeah. We've shown a few of them today, some of the ones we've done. But yeah, we're... Um, we need some yeah. sewing bee days. And then, and then yeah, James is going to get a blade for us to cut yeah. stuff we need. But yeah. It's going to be stuff. I know. I'm excited. So very excited about we that. We are so excited. It's going to be fun. So that's in Edmonton yeah. in May. I think it's May 25th. So yes. yeah. So come say hi if you see us there, but we'll have podcasts. Up. We will have a we, podcast before yeah, then. That's two months away. Yeah. We will. Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. So my next whip that has eaten up all my time in the last two weeks, wow. all I've been wanting to knit on. No, a week. I started a week ago. Yeah. I'm doing the Tanya shawl. Ooh. Or sweater. Shawl. <laughs> um, and this is by is Caitlin Hunter. <laughs> I might not know this. The Tenya. Jeez, I think it's Caitlin Hunter. Is it not on there? It doesn't say on the front. I wish you could see that. But it's just a cropped boxy. Yeah, Caitlin Hunter. Caitlin Hunter. Cropped boxy t shirt style. On, Ravel, on Ravelry, she's Boyland Knitworks. Oh, Boyland Knitworks. Yeah. And you've probably, everyone and their dog sure has seen the has, Tenya. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and it's bottom up construction and I'm knitting this out of um, the Pima Cotton yarn. This is Rose Gold by Creek Gardens. I wish it, it has a bit of a shiny sheen to it, this cotton. Yeah, it doesn't. Which I love about it. Oh, it's, gonna be it's so nice to work with. This it's, has been a delight to knit with. Yeah. It really has. Like I wasn't sure what I was going to think about cotton, but it's soft, it's airy. Oh, that's beautiful. So here it is. Wow. Uh, can you see that good? I hope so. Maybe I should turn the light off. This light, I don't know. We just can't get it right know. today. Although you can oh. see it way better. Yeah, that's <gasps> more true. So I finished all the lace work last night. Wow. So, oh, that's stunning. Isn't that pretty? And it's just soft and it feels almost cool to the touch. It's going to be perfect for summer. I love it. I have my, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Progress <laughs> keeper from Flock Fiber, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. So wow. I'm doing the medium size. And it calls for 3.25 millimeter needles, but I've gone up to 3.75. Well, okay. Did I gauge or did I do a swatch? I kind of did. <laughs> she knit the swatch, but didn't really measure the swatch. <laughs> yeah, like I measured it because I went to Willow and Wall and was talking to them there about it. And she goes, well, really the important part is that you have enough stitches because it's boxy, right? And the length mm -hmm. isn't really. That's adjustable. Yeah. yeah. And so I think I got enough stitches across in one inch on 3.75. And I was reading the show notes, and a lot of people even went up to a four, but a ton of people stayed at 3.25. I'm just hoping by 3.75, we'll just make it a bit of a bigger medium size. Perfect. Because I don't want a big... Yeah, you don't want it huge. I don't. But I don't want it skin tight, but I don't want a, a huge baggy tenya. So... Yeah. And now I have to decide how long I want to make it, because I think it says to knit now um, to 14 inches from the cast-on edge. So I'll probably add another inch for sure yeah you always really like tall i'm 5 10 so yeah but yeah isn't pretty it's so pretty. that's beautiful that lace work I guess good job yeah it's so it looks so good so to me the hard part's over now yeah. the, sense the lace work is done but this lace work is so awesome i thought it was gonna be really tricky to do but you memorize you keep progress keepers every 17 stitches oh nice for the medium size anyway so you yeah. always know like when, like it keeps you on track. Yeah, so I love the pattern for this. That's lace. so nice because then if you, if it's not right at one stitch marker, mm -hmm. that's only one little section yeah. that you have to figure out. So you kind of knit backwards and yeah, yeah, and you can read your, you can read your stitch as well on this pattern and nice. Yeah, highly recommend it. I mean, we're not done yet, but <laughs> so far, but the so hard part's over. I think so, and Probably. then yeah, like yeah, I, I I think so. So I still have to wind up my other. Two skeins. I'm gonna do the one skein for sure, and then we'll see if I use three yeah, skeins or how not. Much you use. Some people get away with just two skeins of yarn. Wow. For this. So that's really yeah. good. Yeah, a lot of people just two skeins. 
So sleeves make a big difference though when you're doing a sweater. Yeah, and like, they're just short sleeves. And they're kind of a dropped like this. They're kind of dropped, mm -hmm. not quite as far, but they're more dropped to here, and then you just do a shorter sleeve. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm obsessed about this sweater. It's Beautiful. All I want to knit on right now. So, that is it for whips. Now I'm just, cool. I'm so excited because I love just straight knitting, yeah. right? Gar knit, I mean, knit, this knit, isn't knit, garter knit, stitch, knit, but but you can just go round and round and round and round and round. You can stop anywhere. There's no rows. Don't have to think. Just go go go. I love that. So yeah, I'm having so much fun with this. So the other one I've got put to the side, my Pores Vibe sweater. Hasn't seen the light of day. But this is in my Mrs. Brown bag. Nice. Yeah. That's it for whips. Should we turn this on? Jeez. I try. I don't Can know. we have We're your kinda... feedback if the lights were too bright? Does it look better when we're all shadowy? <laughs> comment. Actually, don't know. comment below because that's going to be for, oh, yeah, unless you know. add it in your one comment for the giveaway. Right. You could do that. Yeah. You can add a PS onto your. Yeah. PS. Girls, I can hardly see you. You're glowing. <laughs> or <laughs> we love the lights. <laughs> it's hard to tell. That would be perfect. Hard to tell. Should we talk about acquisitions? Yeah, I have a little bit to show. So I forgot mine. That I stuff that I bought at our Airdrie show that we had here in January. I forgot to bring them last time. So oh, yeah. this is called Scallywag, and this is by Rose Hill Yarns, and it looks ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's see. I might maybe just turn it slightly down a little bit. Does that help at all? No. <laughs> no. Okay, I tried. <laughs> that really can't Why did it even... look so well last time? I don't know. Maybe it's the time. I don't know. Same time of day. Anyway, this is a beautiful <laughs> skein of TK yarn that you can't see. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm turning it off. Turn it off. Oh, no. Forget the light. Look at that. It's yarn. You can see it. Oh, good grief. Anyways, stunning colors, Robin. This is going to be an awesome pair of socks. Mm -hmm. And I will just split this in half and just knit as much as I can. I might find something to add to make heels and toes just so that it goes that much further. But that's what that will be because I love DK yarn. Yeah. And then this is from the Wool Baron. Mm -hmm. The Stunning and Amazing Louise. We get to see you soon. I know. This is called Drifter. You can't see the label. It's uh, 80 20 merino nylon, two ply, self striping yarn. Oh, if you haven't used her yarn for anything, you need to try some because it makes the most gorgeous stripes. We have some giveaways coming with some of her yarn. Yes. That she sent us. We just, we haven't got that far yet, but yeah. We're going to be, yeah, we're going to be doing a knit along um, coming up like we did last year and across the prairies. Knit along. We did our Stephen West one last year. I don't know if any of you guys joined us over the summer, but we're going to be doing another one. So we'll have prizes for that. Mm -hmm. But yes, we have some of Louise's yarn as a beautiful gift to someone. Yeah. And then that's actually my other acquisition is my prize that I won from um, A Tale of Two Knitters. Oh. I, entered, I entered my shawl in their giveaway that oh, we did cool. from the Across the Prairies. And poor Jenny messaged me the other day. She's like, I have not sent you your yarn. Yet. <laughs> we're not <laughs> so the only funny. ones I'm that like, were late then. I'm like, oh, really? We're not the only ones to do that? Because we yes. sent ours like, really late. Too. So this is Verna and Birdie. Oh. And it's 100% pure wool. But isn't that beautiful? You have some more of their yarn, too. I do have some more of theirs. So I don't know whether yeah. we'll keep that one or if we'll use it as a giveaway. But yes, they gifted us some yarn too. Yay for prizes. So, That's I cool. Know. I forgot that about that you winning. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, I have another one that's on its way too from um, Cables and Cotton. I won their giveaway. Oh, yeah. And that one, it was a mix up with that one too. Good old Canada Post screws up. Oh, did they screw a lot up? Of it, they messed something up. Yeah. So they Aww. had their other prize winner. I messaged her just in case that it had come back or whatever. I just said that I just wanted them to know that it had never come. And she felt so bad. And then she's like, well, our other prize winner never claimed theirs. So we'll just send oh. you theirs. And I was like, done. Oh, that's perfect. That's so nice yeah, so that was so sweet of them to still Aww. send something. Because you feel bad when things get lost in the mail. Like mm -hmm. who knows whether it got delivered to the wrong mailbox. And people yeah. just keep things. I don't know. Oh, that's too bad. Canada Post is 
not my favorite. They bother me. Well, even sending a parcel just up to Leduc, I think it was one skein of yarn. Is that what I said? Yeah. yeah, it's like $15. Just three hours north of us, $15. Like, it's really expensive. <laughs> It is expensive. It's really ridiculous. Like, yeah. Well, this is actually, this was sent um, vacuum sealed. That helps. Yeah. So I'm I sure that made a huge sealer. difference. But look at how beautiful it looks. Oh, yeah. So you just wound it up yourself. No, Lori did. She's standing oh. at my island talking to me the other day and she's winding my yarn. I'm like, hey, you're really good at that. Nice. So yeah, you'd never know. Lori. Hey, doesn't it look perfect? Nice. Lori, you're hired. You're hired. For the yarn we don't sell, but for the yarn you know, we don't die. Wouldn't it be nice? I'm sure someone would hire you. <laughs> I got some yarn from <gasps> Candy Coated Yarn. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's too fun. I love it in this crinkle bag, so it's just in there for now until I know what I'm going to do with it. This is her Ursula colorway. That's the same one that Sarah got, isn't it? From yeah. Cozy Up Knits? Yeah. Is it Sarah or Jamie? Sarah. Sarah, okay. I should really take it out of the bag, but it's just, it's so fun. It looks so cute. It's like a big candy. I know. Yeah. Even her tag is really cute, but again, you can't see it because it's on the flip side of this. But This is Ursula. I thought of you when I saw this because I, I didn't know what colorway was going to come. They just signed up for the colorway of the month. Oh, okay. So you had no idea what it looked like and then it came and I, yeah, I love it. I was like, oh, this is totally Becky's color because she loves purples. Purples. So yeah, that's yeah. my one acquisition. And then cool. Um, I watch Maker's Haven podcast. She's amazing mm -hmm. and so I've been following her now for quite a few years and it's just been really fun um watching her create her first novel and I just thought oh, you know wow. what I really want to support her by purchasing one like purchasing a book of hers because it's so nice when people support you know yes like that's her dream and she just wanted to write her first novel and so anyways this is on Luna time by Amber Crawley Wow. And I ordered this the day it came out. So it Aww, came out February so 17th, I think, was the release date. And you can order it from her shop or you can order it from Amazon. Okay. And I ordered it from Amazon just because shipping in Canada is ridiculous, ridiculous. whereas Amazon yeah. Prime, it's free. Yeah. So I, totally. I haven't even cracked into it yet. I'm really wanting to wait till I can have some quiet time just to sit. Oh, and it looks like I sit out in the sun and read book. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know. there's just something about it. It looks... I mean, maybe it's because she's in the water, but I'm just like, new book smells. I just love new books. So yeah, it's just oh, so fun. So it was really fun to purchase this book and just from a fellow podcaster and uh, like, congratulations, Amber. That's a yeah, huge like, way thing. Way to reach your goals, yeah. right? Like just, and it was fun because she would just, yeah, talk about how, what chapter she was on with her writing all throughout the last well, couple oh, of years. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah. I'll let you know excited. how it is. Yeah. So that was my other acquisition. Nice. So yeah. Did you get through it all? Are you done your coffee? I am. Thanks for coffee, by the way. You're welcome. All right. Let's roll up the rim. Whoa! <gasps> I won a donut. Yay. That's my first win of roll up the rim <laughs> season. I want to please play again. Uh. You should show what it looks like. You if you tilt it down, like, see, it says win donut. Nice. Woohoo. Yay. Winner, winner. I'm the biggest loser again. Yeah, I think that's it. Says the one who has taken me on trips and to concerts and to, yeah, that's <laughs> to multiple things because she wins on radio shows. So, yes, I do like to, I do enter a lot of radio contests. She and, does. And then I win. It has been to our great benefit. Yes. Nashville was awesome. <laughs> it was so awesome. Yes. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, so we are going to Knit City. We are. We have to book our flights. We are going. But our hotel is booked. Yeah. And we are staying... Oh, geez, which hotel it is? Executive Suites, right? Executive Inn Suites in yeah. Burnaby. Mm -hmm. So that's where um, the Cozy Up Girls are staying and Cherry Pie is staying there. We're trying to convince Kim from Ginger Snap to switch hotels to come and stay with us because yes. the party's going to be at the Because that's where the party's at. Yes. <laughs> it's okay, going to be Kim. so fun. Wink, wink. Bye. Yeah, and I think Janine is from the Odd Sheep is also staying at that hotel. Is she? I think so. So yeah, the hotel is booked. Yeah. And then our flights. We're doing our flights. I'm flying with Air Miles. Same with Becky. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we are going to. We are very excited. We didn't know that was going to happen. We just—it was just an impromptu. 
Um, it was. Kim's like, just book a hotel. She said, you can always cancel it in September. And we're like, okay. Why not? And now we're like, why not? And then we started looking at flights and we're like, we both have enough air miles. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's like 1,100 air miles and then a thousand or a hundred dollars in taxes. Yeah. Like you can't go wrong Very for that. Yep. So we're going to go Thursday night to Sunday. So we'll fly out Thursday morning, fly home Sunday night. Yeah. And Yeah. So we will be there. I, I can't we believe so it. Excited. We've always yeah. seen and heard about it over the last, since we started knitting. Yeah. Never thought we'd actually go and, well, we wanted to, but. We've always wanted to go, but it's actually happening this year. We are very excited. It's That's very be exciting. Huge. Yeah. Super huge. Super and then, fun. yeah, and then May will be the. Yeah, we're doing the Edmonton Fiber Frolic. Yeah. So that'll be. We're scared about it in the sense that. It's our you know, first it's show. it's our first show and we're yeah. selling stuff, but. We're like, let's just try it. Let's just do one show. We yeah. didn't even know if they would take our application, but Allison Barnes did. <laughs> We're like, oh. We're like, oh, thanks, Allison. They're yeah. so sweet. You, people who run those, like, doing all the planning and setting up for those things, that must take a lot of patience. Yeah, and it's a huge job. We it's appreciate a huge job. it. So, yes. Yeah, so From we'll see how that one goes, and then that'll determine if we want to do Yeah, if we'll keep shows. going. We'll yeah. see how it goes. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We're excited about that. So if you're there, stop by and say hi. Yeah. We'll be with be Janine from the Odd Sheep. Yeah, we'll be the goof there. Her. Yeah. We won't have babies at this show. No, so I won't have babies. We won't have live entertainment like we did at the Airdrie show. No. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can relax in a different sort of way. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, and then yeah. this weekend, I'm going to the cabin again this weekend, I think, and nice. then... Kids are off on Monday. Yeah, it's a long weekend. What We're going to a powwow. Thing? You're going to a powwow with your prairie yeah. flying chicken. Where? Yeah. <laughs> That's their daughter. Um, it's her Cree name. It's her Cree name. So yeah. they go to powwows and they bring her. And I just yeah. love her. I love her Cree name. I know. It's prairie her. flying chicken. So cute. Yeah. It suits her to a T. It yeah. does. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So we'll take all the kids and I find them just, they're so fun. Like the costumes that they wear are stunning yeah. and dyers if you're looking for color inspiration <laughs> that's true go to a powwow yes. because you will never see so much color in one place like it is yeah. just stunning all the the stuff that they wear and it's just beautiful yeah and there's always they always have people there that um they have their own vendor tables usually of people that have their handmade stuff so that's always i always like going and looking at that they often have um People that make dolls and jewelry and stuff like the that. Bead so the beadwork is stunning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun. So we'll go and do that for the day on Saturday. And nice. Is there a feast that, as well? At this one? Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at the poster. A lot of powwows have feasts. They put on great feasts. They do. Um, There's always yeah. so much food. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. Cool. I really like going. The powwows I really like. The yeah. kids love them because they just dance around. They love the music. Oh, yeah. So they just dance around and watch everyone. Like, they're just like, <laughs> oh. they're just absorbed. They love it. So, yeah, there are these big costumes and the jingle dancers. And yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. From, and it's like <clears throat> everyone, like tiny little kids who can barely walk right up to the seniors, like yeah. the elders and stuff in the community. Like, they're just, it's everyone. The whole that's community's cool. out. So, oh, well, that's good. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So Aww. I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Well, Bailey didn't make her appearance today. She didn't. I mean, she. You can hear voiced her. her. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> She's just laying there sleeping, yeah. and <laughs> yeah, she right? hasn't been feeling good the last few days, the last few weeks. Her poor legs. She has sore legs. She does. But yeah, it is what it is. Girly. We just keep taking care of her and, and lifting her up on furniture, and <laughs> you, know, so. you have to get her one of those stools pretty soon for the couch, so she doesn't have to jump. If she's not scared of the stool, she's scared of a lot of things too. She is. But... We do have one of those stools for her. Oh. And she was terrified of it. So, and she's also seventy pounds, so those things they kind of shift. So she right. thinks that's really scary. So yeah. she's a big chicken. But now that like once the snow melts too, I think it's going to help her legs as well because. The snow is hard. It's on even surfaces, so she slips yeah. a lot on her sore legs. She has bad knees. So yeah. we're looking forward to the snow melting. Poor so. girl. Yeah, my baby. Um, yeah. Anyways, well, Anyways. that was an hour. That was a wow. long, so we may as well wrap it up. Yep. And I didn't show my granny stripe blanket, but I can save that for 
I'm just noticing it now. Always next time. There is next time. So, yeah. Until next time, happy Happy knitting. Happy knitting. Bye. Give me a sip. Let's do it. Oh, I should turn my volume up. Let's do this. (laughs) I'm yawning now. (laughs)